Show you what I mean by the ground that's like an air um, heat sink. I'll show you. And then, where are we? Here. This one here. Right there. See all of this? This is ground. And with that one there, that's a ground. Acts like a heat pipe. When you try and get the solar flowing, it just draws the heat away. It's a nightmare. We got it in the end. Let's put you back up there. <sighs> Move this out of the way. Get that. We've managed to get most of the corrosion away. So, Gary. Oh, he's just picked up a chip and he's not earthed. And that's earthed. The whole of that's earthed. You'll see me touching it all the time. That's what I have to say. Is that my intelligent double on again? I don't think we need the leg bending in a bit. So when you buy these sockets, make sure it's a double-sided socket, not a single-sided. You'll get better contact. Good morning, everybody. Turn it back. There we go. Voila. Gary is back home. Yeah. Let's see if there is any life in this bloody thing. Let's turn that on. Power. Power. Everything's off. Everything's off. But you never know. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Just like I am. Uh, oh, power in there. There's definitely power in there. Yeah. Okay. That's the BS video. Hey, I'm it. Well, yeah. it's all life. Not much life. It's life. It's better than what it was. Well, not really. It's no different. Well, it is different. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Back again. Bingo. We have life. If you wonder why it's in black and grey, it's because mono. I've got this absolute piece. Of, I've got this beautiful Mega 500 Plus working. Yeah. Yeah. Take your bloody batteries out. What I'm doing here is pulling all the keys off and I'm ready for retro brighton. You haven't got a key puller, and you've got one of them. This is a chip puller, extractor. Give it a key, pop. You don't need to worry about the springs, there's not enough tension in them to go flying anywhere. Get your springs out when you're done. There'll be a different spring in that one. Just from the rear, there's going to be a, oh, that one come off a bit easy. Oh no, that's why. 
It's missing a rod. It should have one of these rods. Little metal rod. It should have that under that, but it didn't. Right, you need a clay bag, hydroperoxide, and the really yellow nails. Yeah, let's get the hydroperoxide in first. There's been no other holes in this bag. Some say 50 50 solution. I tend to put in about 20% peroxide, some water. Preferably hot water. That's enough. Mouse mixer. The shape makes sure no bubbles. You want to flip to the top. Simple as that. Do this one this here. There you go. Cook in the sun. Right, day 326, whatever it is. Right, it's all um, been treated, cleaned, all the chips have been resurfaced. One trace I'm not bothered about, one pad I'm not bothered about, two traces of which have been repaired, two resistors have been replaced, and I'm not touching the caps. I just need to see if it works. So, um, Let's get the tally on. <sighs> Where's the... Oh! Our F-Box. Brand spanking you. I ain't gonna faff with that again. We want... No, I'm really faffing. I just stuck it in the garden. It literally brought and left it. But yeah. Um, right. I'll power that, yeah, power that off. Let's get, let's get that out. Let's get that out. Tunes. It works with the other. Yes, it does. It's not very good. <coughs> Get rid of that. 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 Get rid Um, mouse, 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 mouse. I ain't chuffed with that. Considering the colour it was, I ain't chuffed with that. One. I've ordered a, a GoTech as an external. The GoTech. I've got 3D printed, so I'll print a case for it. And it'll be like. I'm not drilling my case. Don't want to drill holes in it. I'll just 3D print a case and have it sit on the outside like an external. Um, spec test. Ooh. Cool. Big stack here. And we've got an even bigger one over there. And then probably 20 games in the original boxes. Yeah, probably 10 games in the original boxes. A broken Amiga for a bargain price. And then on two. Hey! Oh, sound as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, I ain't got a keyboard. 
Yeah. <laughs> Don't be scared of those Amigas with battery leaks. Well, actually you do, because you've made your them and stuff. Could be something on the membrane that I've missed when I was cleaning it, or the worst case scenario is the 7427 chip logic chip three input. So I need to check the membrane first. I don't want that chip if it's not the membrane, but other than that, it's working. Next time, PC floppy, Sony PC floppy. We're going to modify this, get it working on that, do a little mini tower, that and a GoTech on top. In my whole case, we're going to 3D print that little switch so I can switch between the GoTech and the floppy. But always keep it as the F1. So I'm looking forward to that one. Thanks for watching.